All right, guys, this week Mistral released one of the most capable models to date, which is called uh, Mistral Large. But I'm afraid it looks like uh, a huge update uh, on the MMLU benchmark. Uh, they are now positioned at number two over here among all of these models that are generally available through an API right now. There are other updates too, one being Mistral partnering with Microsoft for the distribution of uh, this particular model on Azure. And uh, Mistral also launched uh, their own platform for all of us to perform inference on their range of language model, including uh, this latest Mistral Large, which is over here. So guys, the idea behind doing this video is to show you around this chat platform launched by Mistral. And then we'll also throw in a bunch of uh, prompts that I have documented over here uh, to the three popular platforms that are there right uh, now. First being OpenAI ChatGPT, the free version. Second being uh, Google's Gemini. And third, of course, Mistral Chat. And talking about this basic uh, evaluation sheet that I have uh, created over here, I'll be tracking how the three models perform against these bunch of prompts that are categorized into the bread and butter, tricky, still basic math, and uh, logical reasoning categories. All right, so let's get started on this Mistral Large versus ChatGPT versus Gemini comparison. And guys, to gain access uh, to the Mistral Chat platform, all you have to do is to go to this button, and over here you may sign in uh, with your uh, email ID and uh, in most of the cases, you will get instant access to the chat platform. And this is how the chat platform looks like. Uh, on the top right corner, you will see this option to choose between the three uh, models having different sizes and specialities. According to Mistral, uh, the large model is good on reasoning. Next is uh, for prototyping and small is fast and cost effective. In our case, we'll be using the large model so that we compare uh, the equals uh, across chat, GPT, Gemini, and Mistral. So let's start with the first set of prompts, which is bread and butter. Uh, first one I will pick is the meaning of life. And we all know that uh, uh, models like chat, GPT, and Gemini are very good at uh, generating text against these sort of prompts. As you can see, yes, we are getting a uh, good bit of results. Meaning of life is deeply philosophical and subjective question that has puzzled humanity for centuries. So definitely it sounds like an intelligent answer. So chat GPT is a pass on this. Now I feed the same to Gemini and let's see what we get. And again, we are getting a good response from Gemini on uh, the basic text generation side of it. And I must say it's a good looking response. All the information is documented quite well in comparison to chat GPT, which was sort of plain. Right, of course I can make tweaks in my prompt and uh, get the response in a shape and size that I want, but that's not the idea. What we want to check here is uh, how the three models behave on the basic text generation task. Now let's try out Mistral Chat. I'll just paste my prompt and hit generate. As we can see, it says uh, the meaning of life is a question that has puzzled philosophers and theologians for centuries and there is no one answer that is accepted by everyone. It's a short, crisp answer that we have received from Mistral Chat. So yeah, uh, it's as good as the others. So all three are a pass on this as expected. So I'll just mark them as pass, pass, and pass. All right, now moving on, uh, here's our next prompt that we have. Give me a diet plan for Indian vegetarians for all seven days, four meals a day breakfast, lunch, snack, and dinner. And now let's see how the three models perform on this. First is ChatGPT. All right, the model has uh, generated the text for us and it is very much in line with what we wanted. Uh, we are getting uh, four meal suggestions for uh, all the seven days of the week. So ChatGPT is a pass. Now let me feed in the same prompt to Gemini. Let's see what it does. One thing I like about Gemini is the beautiful structure it gives to its responses. And uh, you feel like the responses have especially being curated for you, right? I'm not saying ChatGPT is bad, but Gemini connects to your soul with your responses is what my sort of sense is. Again, uh, Gemini does an equally good job uh, with the prompt that we supplied. Yes. Now move on to the third one, which is Mistral. Again, it's a text generation task that we are feeding. Let's see how the model performs. Prime of AC, one thing uh, is clear that uh, the model is uh, slightly slow uh, in text generation in comparison to the other two, ChatGPT and Gemini. But in terms of text generation, I think uh, it is still doing uh, a fantastic job relative to the other two. And uh, yes, it's a pass two. So yeah, the response is uh, quite in line with uh, what we asked it to generate. And yes, Missile Large is a pass. So all three are a pass. Now let's move on to this basic uh, math question, uh, wherein uh, the problem is this, if a shirt costs $25 and there is a 20% discount on it, what is the discounted price? It will be $20. Now let's see if the three models are able to solve this. ChatGPT is able to do this. All right, Gemini is able to do this as well. And lastly, so yeah, Mistral is able to do this as well. So all three are a pass again. All right, now we move to the second part of this evaluation, which is the tricky, still basic math. Uh, in this, uh, we have this bunch of problems. I have four of them. Uh, first one being four raised to power three by two. 
uh, the solution to this would be 8. So basically, uh, square root of 4 is 2 and then 2 raised to power 3 is 8, right? So that's the answer. Now let's see if the three models are able to calculate it right. All right, first one is chat GPT. Let's see what we get. Uh, so, all right, it gives us a very well-structured response and uh, it correctly computes it as 8. Uh, same problem to Gemini. Okay, we didn't get the complete answer. Uh, that's weird. All right, I'll move on to the next one. All right, so Mistral uh, Large is able to compute it, right? So between the three, I think Gemini, I'll uh, mark it as fail and the remaining two will be pass. Now let's move on to this uh, next tricky question, which is two minus minus two plus one, which is five. Uh, again, again, first I'll go to chat GPT and we get the right answer, which is five. Next is Gemini. Again, it gives the right answer, which is five. Now, Mr. Large. So the model that we are using within Mistral is uh, the large model, which Mistral says has top reasoning uh, capacities. So uh, in all likelihood, among all the uh, math or logical reasoning problems that we'll be feeding to the three models, uh, expectation is that this model will uh, do the best job out of the three. All right, so Mistral is also able to compute it, right? So all three are a pass on this, all right? Now let's move on to a slightly tricky problem. Uh, wherein we are just taking uh, a series of numbers and uh, asking the language model to add them, right? So it's a general observation that has also been discussed on the uh, OpenAI community forum wherein many users sort of claim that uh, the language model is not able to compute a large series of uh, calculation, right? So let's see how the three models perform on this particular uh, calculation. Although uh, it will be too much to ask of a language model to, uh, you know, do this kind of uh, math for you. But as end users, we should be aware of uh, the capabilities and limitations of language model. So this is one part I think which all of you will find very, very interesting. Uh, so for all of these numbers, the final count is, final sum is coming as uh, 2819, 2819. Now let's see what the model end up uh, computing. I'll just copy this. I'll first feed it to chat GPT. 2819 was the absolute uh, sum. And as you can see, we are getting a wrong value. So chat GPT fails. We feed it to Gemini, Gemini fails as well. That's weird. And now let's see what Mistral Large does to this calculation. So again, this is also wrong. So on large calculations, uh, even if it is a simple calculation, you should be mindful of the fact that uh, you either make your prompt right, you add in some chain of uh, thought prompting logic and uh, then sort of uh, validate your uh, model's result well before uh, moving ahead with your functionality, right? So on this particular feature, all three fail. All right, moving on, this is the last one that we have in Tricky Still Basic Math. Uh, answer to this will be one. So basically, uh, as per the rule of board mass, uh, first, uh, there is to be division. This division that has to happen, so it will result into uh, a number nine. Then nine minus nine is zero, and uh, we get one as the final answer. So if I just check this in Excel, yes, we are getting one. Now let's see if the three models are able to compute it right. First one is chat GPT. Yeah, ChatGPT does a good job. We are getting the right answer. Now let's see Gemini. Gemini also gets it right. And third one is Mistral Large. All right, so even Mistral is able to compute it right. So all three pass on this particular one. Now we move to this third uh, section, which is logical reasoning. And uh, the two questions I have over here are uh, interesting. <laughs> first one is this. There are two sisters. One gives birth to the other, and she in turn gives birth to the first. Who are the two sisters? And it's sort of a metaphorical question. And uh, the answer is day and night, right? So it will be interesting to see how the language models respond to this one. All right, let's see. So ChatGPT does it, right? It says the two sisters are day and night, which is a good job done. Now let's move on to Gemini. Oh, it does a good job too, day and night. And lastly, Mistral. And even Mistral uh, sort of gets it right. So all three pass on this. All right, the last question that we have for the three language models is this. What is the only question you can't answer with a yes? While there is no uh, right or wrong answer to this, uh, let's see what the three uh, models have to say on this, right? It will be interesting to uh, hear them out. First one is uh, ChatGPT. All right, ChatGPT says the question, are you asleep, is uh, one question I cannot answer with a yes because I am an AI and do not experience sleep. All right, that's fair. Uh, so ChatGPT does a good job. Now let's move on to Gemini. Again, Gemini also uh, has a similar response. The question, are you asleep, is one that I cannot answer with a simple yes. Okay, it's, so it's, it's on uh, the same lines as ChatGPT. Now let's move on to the third one, which is Mistral Large. 
The question you just asked, what is the only question you can't answer with a yes, cannot be answered with a yes? This is because the question itself asks for a question that cannot be answered with yes. So replying with yes would be contradictory. Therefore, the only correct answer to this question is the question itself. All right, so this is a very, very confusing uh, piece of response we have received from uh, Mistral. It sounds like uh, Mistral Arch is as much a consultant as anyone out there, isn't it? So guys, we have uh, come to the end of uh, this particular video. Between the three chat experiences, ChatGPT, Gemini, and Mistral, I think ChatGPT is uh, a notch uh, better than the remaining two. And between Gemini and Mistral, I think, uh, uh, in terms of performance uh, on text generation, both are uh, uh, equally good. Both are uh, at par. I found uh, the text generation on Mistral a bit slow in comparison to the remaining two, but uh, the logical reasoning answers uh, given by Mistral were uh, very well structured. And uh, yeah, so that part is something that we have to give to Mistral. Apart from these prompts, guys, if you have uh, tried any other interesting one on your end that you would want to share with us, do drop it in the comment section of this video. And uh, for this uh, demonstration, I only use the large uh, version of Mistral. Um, if you could share insights on the other sizes, that would be something that uh, uh, would be interesting to see. If you like the content discussed in this video, do give uh, this video a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel for more interesting data tech content. See you in the next video. Bye.